What is going on everybody? It is Nuch here, just here to remind you that if you are enjoying the content to leave a like and a comment on the video. Also if you want to make sure you never miss anything make sure to subscribe and if you want to get all the latest information on what's going on on the channel and to get in touch you may follow me on Twitter. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll speak to you in the video. How's it going lads? Welcome to the latest episode of our Leicester City career mode on FIFA 15. Uh, we've got a couple of games for you as per usual today. We've got firstly Southampton away from home, obviously in real life they are in incredible form, won 8-0 last week. And we are following that up with a home game against Sunderland. So if we can get three or four points out of today's episode, I'd uh, consider that pretty decent going. Southampton is going to be a tough game away, but hopefully we can get something off Sunderland at, uh, at home for sure. We're going to be sticking with the um, usual lineup with Nugent, Campbell and Knockout lead in the line. And uh, yeah, we're going to jump into the game now, so I'll speak to you in a second. Here we are then, we're at St Mary's Stadium for Southampton away, like I said just it's going to be a pretty tricky game this one, so it'll be interesting to see with the play, because they've got a pretty in-depth squad Southampton have, um, obviously their main players this season in real life have been uh, Graziano, Pele, uh, Tadic, I don't know whether they're going to be playing or whether they're going to be playing people like Shane Long, who's also got a bit of a threat up top, obviously it's no slouch, he's no slouch, but uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the game sees as their best lineup. so I wouldn't imagine they'll rest anyone against us, and um, I don't think Pele at the start of this season would have been one that's considered for, um, you know, leading the line for them. And you can see there, yeah, Lock like thought they're playing Mane and Long up top, so they've got, well, Mane's on the wing, but with Long up top as well, that is a lot of pace. They've got their Lourdes Grove as well playing, so, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting, and this one is. Let's jump into it, hopefully we can pick up some points, and, uh, yeah, let's go. Need a runner. Nugent's been the runner. Come on, Nugent, please get that. He has. Got man in there. Put it in back stick. Get in there, lads. 1 0 up. I thought the chance might have gone when uh, Nugent got run wide, but Cambiasso with the big header. Nugent did really well, actually. Um, normally, when the keeper comes out like that, he always gets the ball, but Nugent just about beat him. Took it away from goal and crossed it on the turn. And a big header from Cambiasso puts us 1 0 up. And it's been a strange start to the game. Not many chances, but. Um, Southampton are proving difficult to break down, but we did get through them that time. 1 0 up, get in there, lads. Come on, make the run, son. That's the one we want. I uh, just got a good tackle, really good tackle from wherever that was for Southampton. And that's half time as well. 1 0 up, and we have had a fantastic half, really. And uh, Esteban Cambiasso, the enforcer in the middle of the park, has been absolutely superb in that first half. You can see both had three shots, one on target, but really, Southampton's have all been really awful shots on range, most of them. So it doesn't tell the full story of the game. And uh, if we keep this up, we could be on course for another fantastic three points. We beat Newcastle away a couple of episodes ago, and this could be a similarly uh, great result. So hopefully, we can keep this up and take all three points. This is the start of the second half. And knockout. Good play. Look at that run. Uh, stop and turn, stop and turn. It's worked. It's bloody worked. It's 2 0, lads. Easy as that. Get in there. Fantastic play from knockout. Stop and turn from Nugent, and he just hammered it into the far corner. And we are looking comfortable away at Southampton here. And this is a. More like what we want to be seeing because we've been struggling so far this season. But in this game, it's felt like it's just clicked out of nowhere. And um, like I mentioned at half time, this would be a fantastic three points. We just need to make sure we don't throw this away now. Get in there, boys. That's ah, nice. To be fair, I'm in trouble stopping him. Oh, my God, he's still going. That was mental. It's still mental. He's got the ball back. Oh, dear me, what a run that was. I'm not sure who it was, but he absolutely raped me down the right-hand side and uh, gets on the end of his own move in the end, but that was crazy. I just couldn't get a foot in on him. Some fantastic dribbling. And with uh, half an hour still to go, this game is still in the balance. It's his Grove, I think, with the goal. God damn you, Lord, his Grove. They're so tight that I can't do anything at the moment. Out. No. Fuck's sake. 2 0 up and we've thrown it away. We've in so much control, but they've just thrown everything at us for the last 20 minutes in. Oh, it's so frustrating. What a hit that is as well. Can't believe we've thrown that away. We've been in so much control, but you can't deny the two great goals that they've been. One absolute crisp volley, that one there, and then the one before some great play from East Grove. But from 2 0 up, we should not be throwing away a lead there. That is disappointing. Oh god, oh god, oh god, 90th minute, it's always the way, yep, could feel it, we have thrown away a 2-0 lead, 
and we're now 3 2 now. When the computer's like this, this is so frustrating because I just cannot get a footy now. I cannot believe this has happened. We're in so much control. Look at that, just on the turn. So much power, like it's nothing. Oh, it's so annoying. God damn it. Come on. Oh, fuck you, ref. I'm, so, I'm on the edge of the box and he's blown the whistle. This game has really annoyed me. Oh, anyone that plays career mode or just general exhibition mode on the computer when the one more class knows what I'm talking about. But sometimes when the computer gets going, you just cannot touch them. And that's exactly what's happened there. From 2 0 up, they just sort of went all heads attacking. You can't get near them. And it ended up being a 3 2 loss. And that is so disappointing because we played so well in that first half, especially. But. We have to dust ourselves down and hopefully get three points against Sunderland now, but um, wow, that is annoying. So we threw away that 2-0 lead against Southampton. I didn't actually realise when I looked at the table, they were on the same amount of points as us, so they were struggling down the bottom as well, so it was a bigger game than I actually thought, but um, really disappointed. And the only positive I can take is at least we know where the net is now all of a sudden, but we're going to go into this home game against Sunderland, who I expect to be struggling at the bottom, but I don't think they actually are. Um, now they're in 10th place on 15 points. If we win this, we'll go on to 12. And I've said it many times before in this series, and it's never happened, but once again, this is a must-win game. So hopefully we can pick up a win here, guys. So uh, I'm going to jump into the game, stick him with the same lineup, and I'll speak to you in a second. So here we are. We're back at the King Power Stadium, back at home, and it's a game against a team that we should be able to beat. I mean, the form we've been in lately, we've stepped up our game a little bit, because at one point a few episodes ago, we were struggling to score and being played off the park in every game, but... Like the last few games, we played a lot, lot better. West Brom, I think we were unlucky not to win. That's the Southampton game. Sorry, just we were unlucky not to come out with a win. I mean, that was just computer bullshit from the AI. But um, Sunderland now, this is another team that we can look to get a really good result against, hopefully. So um, let's jump into the game. And hopefully, we can actually get some points on the board this time. I don't know if you've got that. That's uh, very strange. But, oh my God. Knock out. Knock out. Come on, son. I'm taking it a bit wide. Damn it. Come on. Oh no. Cross coming in now. Oh no. By the it's not over yet. Jesus. Not quite an agent. Can I get a layoff? Cambiasso's there. Why play Cambiasso? Thankfully it's Fletcher, not the quickest Mondi, not that Upson's the quickest either. He's dealt with it. Oh, no, he hasn't. I hope he's still got that back. What can he do now? Jesus. I don't know if Flasher got it back down the bottom, but we got away with that in the end, I suppose. Oh no. My god, I swear to everyone, this game has been like... I don't know how we can play so well away at Southampton, then get dominated so much at home against Sunderland. We seem to be set up better for away. You can see there, look, we've had three shots three on target, which isn't too bad, but then... Some of them have had some chances, man. Seven shots on one on target, and I think we need to make some changes. So I'm going to bring on drink water for a King, because King seemed a bit tired. I'm also going to bring on Mares for Knockout, which is a bit of a risky one. In fact, no, we're going to make it Vardy for not. No, we're not. We're going to keep it with Mares. Knockout's not been bad, but he's looking a bit tired. So hopefully that'll give us some fresh legs in the attack and. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can step up. Look at that, 39% possession, man. It's mental how well the computer to keep it. Thank you very much, Alan. Come on, it's loud and going. Come on. It's tri 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 play. Oh, my God, what a joke. He tried to tackle me. I ended up having to jump over the tackle, and then that completely killed the move. It just completely screwed up his positioning. If it had gone down, it would have been a penalty. That is so annoying. Joe going on for Nugent now, and my god, that could have won us the game. That is such a piss take. This is what the manager will hope will be the decisive moment. We're going attacking. We're going for this. Still goalless here, not much time left. What about the next game, Alan? Well, Sunderland go up against Everton. Come on, Rajoa. Fresh off the bench. Rajoa, fresh off the bench. Get in there, lads! He's only just come on, there's only five minutes to go. But Ajoa scores an absolute worldy of a goal. I'm pretty sure it's Ajoa anyway. Picked up the ball in the middle of the park, took on three or four players there, just glided past them and then a fantastic finish. Look at this. Oh my word, we have not deserved that really. I mean, Sunderland has probably edged the game, but it's mental. Hey? In the last game we played so well and lost, and now we might be playing a bit crapper. But we're actually going to win by the looks of it. We've been absolutely... Stonewall averaging this game. 
But my God, if we can pick up three points, there are big three points for us. Get in there, lads. Yes, get in there, boys. 1-0 win at home against Sunderland. And I said when we scored the goal, and I'm saying it again, we played so well against Southampton and somehow got a loss in against them. Three to have to be 2 0 up. And in this game, Sunderland, I think the, stop, the shots are reflected. Yeah, they only had the one more shot, and they only had one shot on target, but they were so good on the ball and defended so well. And we were a lot worse in that game than we were in the Southampton game. We've come out with a win, and that's all that matters, I suppose. So we're going to look at the league table and look where that leaves us now. But to pick up a win in this episode, I did say uh, three or four points would be the target in this episode, and we have got three. So, uh, oh, it's a sort of relief, that is. Let's see where it puts us in the league. So there it is everyone, we're now in 16th place, I believe we started the episode in 17th, so we have picked up a place and we've now played 12 games and got 12 points, so we've also got QPR I believe in, the, in our next game in the next episode, they're now in 18th on 11 points, so that could be a really big game, but um, smash the thumbs up button everybody for a fantastic episode once again, and uh, I'm glad we've managed to pick up a win, and hopefully if we stay all season just hovering above that relegation zone, I will be more than happy, so... Uh, Thank you very much for watching everybody, let's see if we can get this video to, uh, let's say, 5 likes, that would be absolutely fantastic. So once again, I appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Ninja. Hopefully I'll be able to burst through here. Come on, drink water. Going to drill it back. Joa, it's in. 4-1. A bit sweaty there, to be fair.